We think it's really a, a opening the door. In what U.S. infectious disease expert Dr. Anthony Fauci is calling good news, early results from a trial overseen by his agency examining remdesivir, a Gilead Sciences antiviral drug, shows it appears to help patients with COVID-19. The data shows that remdesivir has a clear-cut significant positive effect in diminishing the time to recovery. This is really quite important. Recovery time, he explains, averaged 11 days for those who took the drug compared to 15 days for those in a control group who received a placebo. Fauci says about 1,090 people took part internationally in what he calls the first truly high-powered, randomized, placebo-controlled trial. The mortality rate trended towards being better in the sense of less deaths in the remdesivir group. 8% versus 11% in the placebo group. It has not yet reached statistical significance, but the data needs to be further analyzed. The results still need to be peer reviewed, he cautions, for the drug that was initially developed to treat Ebola. At the time of Fauci's update Wednesday, there were no approved treatments or vaccines for COVID-19. So why is this information being shared now? Whenever you have clear cut evidence that a drug works, you have an ethical obligation to immediately let the people who are in the placebo group know so that they could have access and all of the other trials that are taking place now have a new standard of care. As Dr. Fauci was speaking at the White House, the World Health Organization was holding their regular coronavirus briefing at roughly the same time. Well, a top WHO official declined to offer any specific comment about the drug, he did express some hope. I wouldn't like to make any specific comment on that because I haven't read those publications in detail. The head of the WHO's emergencies program says it can sometimes take a number of publications to determine just how effective a drug can be, adding much more data will be coming out. We are all hoping uh, and fervently hoping that uh, one or more of the treatments currently under um, uh, observation and under trial will result in, in, in um, altering uh, clinical outcomes or improving clinical outcomes. Uh, Worldwide, the number of COVID-19 cases surpassed 3 million this week, and the known death toll is well over 200,000. For City News, I'm Melissa Duggan.